This environment where this plant grows is absolutely stunning. This amazing plant with a rosy smelling root goes by many names, rose root, golden root, or rhodiola. Well, so sick about the wine on here. Hello. This is muskox country. So we're here scouting for muskox. Now, what makes this plant so cool isn't just that it looks really pretty. It's actually what's inside that makes it extremely interesting. Let's take a look at it. This is the mythical plant that the Vikings used to improve their stamina, strength, and longevity. They had a famous saying that goes like this. Eat golden root every day and live for a hundred years. And so that we could all see this plant in the wild, I sent Jonas to a misty mountain in Norway. Up here in Scandinavia lives a plant that Rob's been asking me to find. It is literally all over here. Ooh, take a look. And it's flowering right now too, look at this. And it turns out it's a plant you, like the Vikings of the past, might still want to consume because studies indicate it's an amazing adaptogen, can help with your athletic ventures, and seems to be good for anxiety. I'm just gonna give you a quick lowdown on this incredible plant of the mountains. And if you haven't heard of it yet, well, lots of people online are starting to talk about it. Rhodiola rosea. Yeah. Impressive S supplement. Very effective tool helping reducing stress. It's an adaptogenic herb. It can help reduce the effects of anxiety. It took the edge off. Allows oxygen to work better in your body. The alpine plant known as rose root. This incredible plant was kind of a secret weapon used by both Vikings and Russian cadets to help them perform better in battle. This is where rose root is found. Notice how much of it is in Russia. <laughs> Russians and Scandinavians have been using this plant for a long time, which means it's only fitting that a double-blind placebo study was done with 160 Russian cadets. The ones that were given rose root did not have as much fatigue as those who didn't get rose root. Another double-blind study with medical students during their very difficult exam period showed that those that were given rhodiola actually were more physically fit, showed less signs of mental fatigue, and, turns out, scored a little bit better on their final exams. I find it really promising that a lot of science is starting to confirm what the ancients used to know and how they used this plant. And thank goodness for all of that because I wouldn't have discovered this plant. Now, I first found out about this plant because it was in fact a supplement that was being added to Magic Mind, which is a supplement I've been taking for over a year. But don't worry, this is not a biased presentation. I just discovered it in the ingredient list on the back and I wanted to know more. I knew that it was a stone crop and I was familiar with its close relatives because I grew up in the mountains, but I wasn't familiar with rhodiola per se. But before I get into the biochemistry and what some of the current research is talking about, I think it's first worth just marveling at this plant. Let's have a botany lesson. Rose root is part of a group of plants lumped into the family Crassulaceae, otherwise known as the stone crop family. This ghost plant is a common plant you might find in the stone crop family. In total, there are 1400 species. They're succulents and really common as potted plants here, something you might have on your windowsill because they don't require a lot of care, or as a living roof, as you can see here. Likely, their ancient ancestors were really good at storing water in harsh conditions like in the desert. Their leaves, you see, have a very unique physiology. They are thick and they hold a lot of water. They also have a special kind of photosynthesis called CAM photosynthesis which stands for Crassulacean Acid Metabolism, named after the name of this family. Quick refresher, most plants like these carry out C3 photosynthesis, and that means they carry out photosynthesis in the day, their stomata are open, carbon dioxide goes in, and water goes out. But that's bad if you're in a hot and arid environment where open stomata mean you're losing a lot of water in the day. But in cam photosynthesis, like in this succulent, the stomata can be open at night, carbon dioxide can come into the plant, and is then turned into a four carbon storage molecule, the acid, which can then, via photosynthesis, be turned into energy. Uh, plants that use this are cacti, aloe, pineapples, and our rose root. 
That alone, to me, just makes it a cool plant. But what's more, in the history books, this is listed as a medicinal plant. Carl Linnaeus. Carl Linnaeus, right here. Who I got to visit his university while in Sweden last time. Named roseroot Rhodiola rosea in his landmark 1753 work, Species Planetarium, and noted its historical and folklore uses. Notably, it was used in Siberian folklore to boost endurance and resilience to harsh climates. That gave it an almost mythical status in those cultures. In traditional Russian medicine, it was considered a natural adaptogen and is included in herbal tonics to prolong life and improve stamina. And like I noted, Vikings used it for strength and endurance too. Even the father of medicine, Dioscorides, wrote about it in 77 AD in Demateria Medica. I think the thing that blew me away though is that I hadn't heard of it yet because there are so many beneficial things that it does. But without getting into the chemistry too much, Rosevins and salidrosides are the biologically active compounds which are responsible for affecting our neurotransmitters dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine. And as you might know, those are responsible for mood. Now, if you are an athlete, you're in luck. And it definitely is a little bit of a performance enhancing drug. These researchers here wrote a detailed literature review of all of the research. So if you wanna use it for performance enhancing, they have a dosing protocol in the paper, which is really easy to understand. And that review pointed to why Russians were keeping all of this a secret. You see, they were testing it on Olympic athletes Athletes. They were testing it on their cadets, and this was all during the Cold War, so it was all hidden and secret in Russia. It was all written in Russian, and none of this started to come out until the 90s when it was translated by a couple of doctors and distributed to the West. And that's when this craze started to happen slowly and slowly as people were starting to rediscover this plant, so to speak. Now, I'm not going to go into all the research. I made another video that's a little more detailed here, which you could check out. And you could also go over to Dr. Nicholas Verhoeven's site here. He did a deep dive on what the literature actually says. I want to give a big shout out to Jonas here, who was looking for musk ox in the mountains of Norway. Hi, Ron. Jonas here. I am he has a fantastic documentary about musk ox. I should also thank Magic Mind for sponsoring this series. Magic Mind does have rose root in it, so if you want to try it, it is in here. Although this video is not about trying to recommend one supplement over another or provide some sort of justification why it's helpful. I think the evidence is pretty clear. It's pretty helpful. Um, Magic Mind, though, is sponsoring the entire series, and since I stumbled upon this on the ingredient list, I said let's do this as one of the videos, and since I always go out into the field to find the plant, let's go. That's why this manifested. If you want to try Magic Mind, definitely I would encourage you to do it. It has some of my favorite ingredients in it, including lion's mane, cordyceps. It also has bacopa, which I did a video on before. And starting this year, they also have a sleep performance shot. That's what they're calling it. Essentially, it's all of the herbal ingredients and a few other things that are helpful for sleep. It's non-addictive, so it doesn't have melatonin in it, for instance. Stone Age Man listeners can get 45% off of that bundle pack. Just go to the link, magicmind.co slash January, and you can get your discount off of that. And big thanks to my patrons who are reviewing this cut. It was tremendously different from the first cut, and you all are helping make this better. It's probably the only way that I'm going to be able to survive in this age where AI can deliver almost everything you need. And AI is going to confirm what I just wrote. It's also a tool, should you want to use it, to find all of those research studies. I'm also leaving links below to the ones that I talked about today. If you want to see another video, Similar to this one about a plant that has medicinal properties and is just cool. Um, yeah, you can try this one and we'll see you in the next one.